Hello, I'm Sheila McKinley, and I'm here to talk to you today about a really important myeloma treatment called daratumumab. I work in the patient advocacy team at Myeloma UK, and I have done for almost eight years now, which means that I really had a front row seat watching the development and the progress that has been made in treating myeloma. And daratumumab really is a milestone in that story of progress in myeloma treatment. And the reason is that it's what we call a first-in-class treatment, which means it was the first ever type of a new treatment called a monoclonal antibody. And the reason that that step change in treatment is so important is because myeloma is such an individual cancer and because it's relapsing and patients need to know that when they relapse, a new treatment that will work on their cancer in a different way is available. The first daratumumab treatment was approved back in 2018 and it was quite a challenge to have it approved. It was a new and promising treatment, but the clinical trial data was immature. And so we at Myeloma UK worked with patients, clinicians and the company to really get across what it meant to patients to have daratumumab approved, what the value was that daratumumab added to their lives. And I want to give a particular shout out to a patient called Barry Neville, who worked with us on that treatment approval and who was able to share stories of his life and his treatment to make sure that drug approval bodies really understood what daratumumab could deliver. I'm really glad to say that we are now in a position where daratumumab has been approved at two other points in the treatment pathway. It's being used in many clinical trials, including a trial for people who have high risk myeloma. And throughout that, Myeloma UK has been a constant. We are the only organization which contributes to every single myeloma approval. And we work really closely with doctors, with patients to make sure that drug approval bodies understand myeloma and the difference that these treatments can make. And I'm really proud to talk to you on our 25th anniversary about this fantastic record of achievement.